All right, guys, I got a 2013 camera here. Today, I'm going to show you if your car is stalling and you at the red light, your engine just dies or a red light or a stop sign. As soon as you take your foot off the gas pedal, the engine dies. I want to show you a little symptom this car has. This is common, okay? This is very common on Toyotas, Hondas, any car, GM, could be a Ford. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the engine and this car vibrates, okay? You can feel a vibration because the RPM, pay attention to the RPM. RPM is very low. Right now the car is cold, so I'm gonna give it a moment for the RPM to come down. All right, as you can see right there, the, the cold and hot temperature, right now it's on cold. As the engine heats up, this RPM drops and it's below like 500. And I'm gonna give it a moment till it drops down and you can feel the vibration. Okay, right now I got the car in drive. So right now it has a load. The RPM is down, but not as much as it was before because um, right now the car is still cold. So we're gonna go by the example, okay? And uh, we, I'm gonna show you a throttle body service you could do on this Toyota Camry. All right, now we're gonna open up this air housing here. Let's come a little bit closer. Okay, so let's come a little bit closer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this housing filter right here. Over here, we're gonna remove this clip, this clip here. This filter housing is gonna be loose like that. We're gonna remove this little guy right here, okay? Make sure the key is off. And the sensor should come off from right here. You just push on this. Even this, um, it's gonna be really tough, okay? But I'm gonna go get a pick. Okay, so I got a pick here. So with the pick, you can lift this little clip right here. And this connector will come off. Okay, after that, you got another connector down here for this EVAP sensor. We're gonna just disconnect it. Okay, and then we got a little hose in the bottom. Just push on that clamp, and you're gonna pull the clamp back, and you're gonna remove the hose off it, and the sensor can stay with the whole duct pipe. Also, you have a little clip right here. Okay, so you're gonna need a tool such as this fork here to remove this little guy from the housing. Okay, there you go. After that, take this off. This hose come off. Okay, and then you got this vacuum pipe here. Just push it out of the tab here. So what we're gonna do is down on the on the neck of this air duct pipe. We're gonna take off the clamp with this number ten. I'm gonna loosen it. Once I have it out, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so take this off. All I did was turn this. This was really tough. Okay, when you're done, before you put it in, make sure you put some W40 here so it can be better for the future sake. But it was really tough to get that one off. Also, I forgot the pipe here. There's a hose underneath here too, okay? So do not invert the hoses. So make sure you get the bottom hose here. The top one you took off, it only has one angle. The one from the bottom, it comes right through here and it connects to here. So we took off the sensor and this. And now we're gonna take a look at the throttle body. All right. So you see that black corrosion stuff all around, that carbon, the buildup? That's the issue, okay, on both sides. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently clean that, okay? A lot of people will tell me he didn't do it right or he didn't clean the whole thing, okay? To do the whole thing, you have to dismantle everything here. You're gonna lose the antifreeze, you're gonna lose idle, and you're gonna have to rebuild the memory, and you're gonna be in a bigger hole than what you was in, okay? So it's better you clean off as much as you can, I've done it on vehicles and I have not had issues in with those cars in about three to four years, okay? Within three to four years, if you drive to 40, 50,000 miles, you're gonna be coming back for the same service, okay? Something like this, I would recommend you do every 30,000 miles, okay? To keep your idle going good. All right guys, so this is the spray you're gonna have to get. This is like $12 spray and you could use it on multiple cars, okay? You're gonna have this probably the whole year. You could do 10 services on your car, okay? Other than that, you're gonna need a small rag and then you're gonna need your hands and you wanna be careful with the hands. So what I'm gonna do is my friend's here, he's gonna put the car key on accessory and then he's gonna press the gas pedal. We're gonna demonstrate that once or twice before I do it so you can see how the throttle body opens up. Okay, if you don't have a scan tool, okay, if you're doing it my way and you have these two connectors disconnected, you're gonna have a check engine light, you're gonna have codes for EVAP sensor, you're gonna have codes for uh, 
mass airflow sensor or ambient temp uh, not ambient um air temperature sensor it's all because it's disconnected okay but what you can do is i have a scan tool so i'm all right i'm in good hands you could take that just put it to the side here and you can connect it okay but i make my life easy i have more space i don't mess nothing up okay so let's demonstrate for you first so i'm gonna tell my friend to, he's gonna have the key and accessory and he's gonna press depress the gas pedal go ahead do it you see that? Look at that. It has more carbon inside. Like the inside doesn't need to be cleaned, okay? Let it go. Okay, there you go. So have somebody help you to open that throttle body and do not spray this inside. Use a rag, okay? And don't try to spray on top of your car so you don't mess up the paint. So we're gonna do this job thoroughly, okay? So give me a moment. To start off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spray. I'm gonna spray a whole bunch on this rag. Okay, go ahead, press the gas pedal. Do not let go, okay? So I'm gonna clean the edges here. And you see that, look at that, look at that rack. It's all dirty, okay? I'm gonna give it another shot with the same one. Okay, let it go. I'm gonna use another side of the rack. I'm gonna soak it up again. All right, as he was talking, my friend here told me his car did stall one time, even though right now we only had low idle. Go ahead, push it. There you go, it's open. Try not to yank the throttle body. That's the whole function of doing this. You're letting the computer do the job so nothing goes out of whack. Because if you jam a screwdriver in here, you'll mess up the gears on the throttle body. If you're still having bad idle, low idle, then you can replace your throttle body, but it's gonna be an expensive job, okay? All right, so we got one side. And I'm also gonna recommend you clean the flap here. Okay, even though the bottom side has face down, we don't need to mess with that. All right, so let's clean the flap here. All right, let it go. We're gonna let the throttle body less for, rest for a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grab another rag and we're gonna come back and do it one more time. There's another little cloth here. So let's soak this up really good. All right, do it one more time. Now I'm gonna do the inner edge on the opposite side. See all that? All that stuff is coming out. That's all the build up. That's what's causing it. Low RPM and a choke up. If you want to spray in there, you can spray in there, but don't go crazy, okay? But I would recommend you do it this way. I have done it the other way, but the spray inside. But why go crazy when you can just do it the simple way and easy? Okay, this is going to give it much, much better performance on the idle. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it there and let it go. You know what? Let me give it one last shot. One last shot. All right, one more time. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. It looks shiny. Okay, let it go. And once you're all done, I even like to get the little edge of this. You can let go of the throttle and I just clean the edge of the plate. But this is gonna resolve a lot. You might not have 100% back to normal, but I have never had an issue after I did this. All right, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Make sure you put everything back together. If you have check in your codes for this, just reset it. Do not do the move the terminals thing, okay? You, you'll mess up the idle on that anyway. All right, peace out. All right, one last thing I want to say before I go. Make sure you put your vacuum lines in, this one, that one, and that one, okay? I get a lot of call messages from people that after they did this, they had a lean code. The reason is because you left one of the pipes open, okay? The sensor here, it reads the flow of the air. If this pipe is loose or not connected properly, the air is gonna pass through here, but it's not gonna pass through the sensor. So it's not gonna read it. It's gonna give you a lean code. Same thing with the pipes over here, okay? This is really gonna mess up your idle and a whole bunch of other stuff. Make sure the bolt down there is nice and tight and you're all set.